What's going on YouTube? Minecraft Go here. Today I'll be taking a break from my Minecraft videos and I'll be showing you how to make your own web page. Uh, I got a couple requests from this from my uh, MinecraftGo.com video. So yeah. Uh, what this does, it, it actually allows people to come to your site. Well, they won't be able to come to your site unless you use a file hoster, which I'll get to that later in the series. Yes, this is a series. Alright. So, they like, it's just like a web page, just like YouTube, Google, Wikipedia, MySpace, Facebook, I don't know why I said MySpace, MySpace is dead, Twitter, all that stuff. Alright, so let's get started. You want to save it as some, whatever you want, dot .html, but usually, I'm just going to save this as index, dot .html, because if you, once you upload it to a file hoster, which again, I'll tell you in the later of the series, that's like the first thing it goes to and then you can re redirect from there so save so now it's index.html so now you, we actually need to show that it's an html file well we did by there but it still has to recognize it so we're just going to type in html ending bracket and you always if you're using a tag which is these it has to be end it has to start with this and end with this less than greater than all right, and now whatever tag you start, you have to end slash HTML. Put a couple spaces, and now we're gonna do the head portion, which is uh, less than sign, greater than sign. I'll just call those brackets for now, and then slash head. Put about three uh, three spaces in there, and now we need to get to the body, which is B O D Y brackets slash body. Alright, so now this is set up. So save it. It's very important that you save off often because if something goes wrong, you can divert or revert back to that save. Alright, so if we preview it, nothing will show up. Alright, that's actually a good thing because if any of this showed up, that means you probably had something like this and that came up. But that's what will happen. It would actually write it on the page if you, uh, you know. Oh, and I forgot to mention, if you're looking, you can do this for Windows and Notepad, or you can download Notepad++ in the description, and then if you want to actually see it, you do run with uh, run with Google Chrome, um, just look around for that, it should be in one of these options up there. For Mac, uh, I'll include a link to Coda, or you can just use text edit, but I like using Coda since it color codes it. And so does Notepad++. Ah, sorry for I got, sorry that I forgot to mention that. Just that I want to get into the video. All right, now say instead of saying index.html, we want to say it as so we're going to say title, and this is what this will be right here. If you like in a tab, since YouTube says YouTube, we'll make this uh, Minecraft. Ah, uh, nah. What is called? This is awesome. And now, what do you start? You have to end, or else all of this will show up there so slash title and right here it says this is awesome all right that's now we can start so now say we actually want some content on our page so so if you want just some text you type in p and what you start you have to end slash p let's say uh, this will be your text. Now, if we preview it, there it is. It'll be your default, bra whatever you have for your default text, that's what it's going to be, unless you actually set it to text, which we'll get later into the series. Alright, now I'll say we want something a little different, like to spice it up. Copy that three times. Alright, change one of the P's to B, and, what, and make sure you change the ending tag to B as well one to you ending is you and do the same with I now P stands for plain text B stands for bold U stands for underlined and I stands for italicized alright so let's go preview this now if you're in Coda which I'll include you just click this preview if, but again if you're in Windows you go to like view run in Google Chrome I recommend doing Google Chrome because Internet Explorer versions 1 through 8 do not support HTML5 which is the most current and that's what we'll be coding in let's say um, you didn't you don't want these to uh, be like that 
For some reason, P just likes to separate itself from everything, the P tags, and it just likes to be a loner up there. There's nothing really you can do to fix that, but yeah. So let's do B R slash, which stands for break. Now if we preview it again, it's bolded and it is separated from those. And let's do the same, and the same. Alright, now let's say you don't want to get it like this close to the page. Well, actually no, I'm not going to show you that since it's a little more advanced. Alright, now let's say you want some headers like big text that's saying, Welcome to my webpage, it is awesome and you will love it. La, 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 la. So let's say you would do H1 through H6. So I'll do all this and I'll come back when I'm done. Alright, I am back and this is what it should look like in the end. So now, H1 stands for header 1, and same with all the way down, except the number is changing, obviously. So H1 is the largest, and H6 is the small, so let's put some text in, and I'll copy and paste all of them in so you don't have to watch me type, which gets boring. Paste, 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 and paste. Save. And now look, it gets smaller, 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 smaller. Alright, so yeah, and notice that it breaks automatically, so I believe uh, header 3 is the normal size for this, or it's either that or 2, some, or somewhere in between, be between, sorry, and yeah, so there's that. Now let's say you want to like uh, insert a picture, so now we're going to do the image, src, which means source, equals, quotation mark, quotation mark, space, slash, ending tag. So it will look like this. Lesson sign, IMG space, SRC equals, quotation, double quotation, double quotation, space, forward slash, and then your greater than sign. Let's say, um, so mine's on the desktop right here, so let me just get a picture. Oops, that's not a picture. Uh, website things, Minecraft to go unused. Yeah, let's see, and I'm gonna paste it. All right, so now it is on the desktop and is button underscore normal dot png. So we're in between these quotations. I'm just gonna type in button underscore normal dot png. It's very important that it is case sensitive and uh, has to be in the same location uh, where your index, the, your web page is, and has to have the ending. So if it was like a JPEG, JPEG, you just put JPG here like this, because if you do like that, it will not recognize it, but mine's a PNG, so it doesn't even matter. Now if we go to preview, you'll see the button right here. It's kind of faded because I just made it like that. So that's how you put, <coughs> a uh, pic picture it. Now, let's say if I just do it like that, here it will still show, but usually internet's picky and has to be case sensitive. Let's say I have it in website things, website unused, I don't need that. So let's say I want to get all the way over here. So first we need to direct it to the website things folder, which you can just simply do by typing web, again case sensitive, website things. Now a forward slash, and what's the next folder? I'm in my desktop, website things, and then it's gonna be website unused. And then a forward slash, and let's see if it's still here. Yep, if it's, it's still here. And I'll say I made a typo, and I didn't enter that last slash. You'll see that little Icons like what? There's no picture here. What are you talking about? You're, you're stupid or something? Yeah, so that's why it's important. You have to make sure everything's correct or it will look weird <clears throat> All right, well, this has been your basic overview of HTML coding. Yes, this is in fact coding even though it's actually uh, pretty simple because it's oops I didn't that's that needs to be there. I might have deleted it by accident, but 
HTML has evolved and it's become a lot easier to learn and hopefully we can literally just t by typing in stuff in the future it will just show up all on all that. So thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to watch for video 2 if you want more. It should be uploaded soon. Link right here or in the description. So thanks for watching.